Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. As you saw in a previous video, I mentioned that everything in my garage by the end of the year was gonna be sold except the old Ford GT. I'm in for a major garage update refresh because it's been a while since I bought a new car. Nevertheless, the first casualty, as you can see what's missing is the, is my Lamborghini Huracan. Now next to go is actually probably, most likely, the new Ford GT. Now, I'm gonna do a separate video of why I'm selling the GT. It is really close. I'm actually have agreed primarily on a number and the money is gonna be here very soon. So, well, it's still for sale because I don't have the money. It's pretty much sold. And the funny thing is, when it rains, it pours. You know, the car's been listed for a little while. I wasn't making a big publicity stunt of it. As soon as the word gets out that it might be sold, all of a sudden, all the calls start coming in to buy the car. So nevertheless, separate video on selling the new GT. It could be gone very, very soon. Next to go is either the McLaren 720S. You know, I have the 765 LT on order. So that definitely has to go. And then of course, the Tesla Model 3, my temporary daily driver until the Plaid Model S comes out, hopefully by the end of the year. So, but let's get on to selling the Lamborghini Huracan and what's gonna replace the Huracan in the next probably couple weeks. All right, so yes, yesterday was actually a pretty sad day. I had the my Lamborghini Huracan listed on eBay for about 30 days and got a, quite a few offers on the car and finally ended up letting it go uh, yesterday. And actually the transaction happened pretty fast, agreed on a price. Uh, the wire came in the next day and the truck was there to pick it up and it's gone to somewhere in Illinois. So it's just about four years to the day that I traded my Super Trofeo Stradalian for the Lamborghini Huracan over at Lamborghini Broward. And I'm gonna go over the numbers, what I paid, what I got for the car so you can get a feeling of what it cost to own that Lamborghini over four years. Uh, so I paid 235,000, the car was three months old, had 1200 miles on it. And four years later, I got 177,000 for it and the car had 8,100 miles. Uh, other expenses I had were that extended warranty I added for about 4,000. So if you divide that by four years, the monthly cost to own that car was about a little less than $1,300 a month. Of course, there's some business depreciation that goes on top of that, which reduced the cost. Of course, I made some YouTube videos with as well. Made some money there, but uh, nevertheless, for the average person who would have bought that car used four years ago, traded it four years ago or sold it retail, you're looking at about $1,300 a month for four years, no money down. That is pretty impressive to own that little of a car over four years. So Lamborghini retained its value very, very well. So of course, we gotta talk about what's next. Uh, and there are a few options. So I'm looking at a Lamborghini Evo all-wheel drive, brand new or used, depending on the price. Preferably in Rosso Mars, red, maybe yellow, but those, and maybe that new green, I forget what it's called, Verde Sands or something like that. I want a bright color and that's what I'm looking for. Or if I want to bump it up a little bit, there are some lightly used Aventador SVJ coupes out, which could be had for pretty good prices, uh, probably less than 500,000. Of course, that's a huge step up over the Lamborghini Huracan and you're gonna lose probably double the amount of money and honestly, it just doesn't drive as good as the Huracan. That single clutch transmission is super rough. However, the sound of the V12, the doors go up, the drama that comes, along the car, that comes along with that car is just pretty insane. I love Randy from Savage Garages, SVJ. My buddy Heath had two in the last like two months, a coupe and the uh, Roadster version that just got sold when he picked up his 918 Spider. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see more of the day-to-day -day stuff that we're doing with the cars. This is dragtimes.com on Instagram, and that's where you saw that uh, the Lamborghini Huracan left yesterday. So some other options I'm actually considering is, I got a line on a Ferrari F8 Tributo, pretty low spec, which is kind of my deal, in the low 300s, that's definitely available and I can grab probably in the next couple weeks. Of course, that's 300,000 versus a used Evo, which is gonna sit around 250,000. So an extra 50,000 to go with a brand new Ferrari. Obviously, it's a ton faster than the Evo and we'll have warranty as well. So I don't know. We got SVJ, another Huracan Evo, the Ferrari F8, you know, some pretty solid choices to replace this car. So 
Uh, I'm pretty aggressive on getting something done and I really don't like blank spaces in the garage. So I actually have quite a few offers already out on Evos. Uh, Lamborghini Broward has a really nice SVJ that I'm keeping my eye on, but uh, you'll see what happens in the next few days or next few weeks, depending on how long it takes for me to get a deal. But drop in the comments, what do you think a good replacement for the Huracan is? Is the Huracan Evo just a, too small of an evolution for what I've been driving for the past four years? Should I jump up to a V12, uh, although that's not great for drag racing, or jump over to that Ferrari F8 Tributo? With regards to speed, the F8 Tributo is the clear winner. I mean, it is going to blow the doors off the Lamborghini Huracan Evo and the SVJ. I got tested on this car, and it is not that much slower than the Pista. Because these were different test conditions, I think it could be, be right up there with the Pista. 60 to 130 in the Tributo was coming in at 6.4, and I believe I got 6.2. Uh, of course, that's with passengers in the car, both in the Pista and the Tributo. So we can expect probably very low sixes, 60 to 130. I believe I got quarter mile in like 10.6 or something like that at uh, 136 miles an hour, which is right under what the Pista was trapping when we did the testing last year out at the ring. So it's not 720S fast, but it's pretty much as fast as the Pista for a lot less money. And also, I almost forgot, I got these really cool McLaren 720S Drag Times t-shirts. That's actually my 720S there that I uh, took a picture of, and on the back you got a top view with the Drag Times logo on the bottom there. These are for sale in the merch store down below. And finally, let me know in the comments below again, what do you think? We got the Huracan Evo, the Tri F8 Tributo, or the Aventador SVJ to replace the Lamborghini Huracan. As always, thanks for watching, and hit that subscribe button, and you'll see what gets picked up next. Thank <laughs> you.